Hello and welcome to the first video of Morningstar vs. Ravencrest. In this video I am just going to pretty much focus on the house build I'm doing here in The Sims 4. And later on we will do a video about how we met and a little bit more about us. But I was going to start off first of all here that I've been using OBS and trying to find the right resolution to capture the videos. As you can see, it is cut off, majorly cut off right now. And I've tried so many different things and it was quite frustrating. I don't know if anyone else has this problem. I'm using a Mac laptop. I don't know if it's the retina display, but I could put in the exact resolution I'm using at gameplay and it will still cut things off. So I am playing around with that and hopefully we'll have the issue resolved shortly before my next video, I hope. I hope, we'll see. Anyway, this house was inspired by a little tiny house I saw while driving through Laguna Beach. It was so, so cute. I don't know if it was actually somebody's home, an apartment or a tiny house of some sort. Or maybe it might be somebody's pool house or guest house. I'm not sure. I'll have to drive by again and investigate without looking like a total stalker creeper. In this house, it was a little bit challenging. Um, as you can see, I had a challenge with the windows. And you will continue to see that. Just trying to keep it open and spacious and not very cluttered with letting a lot of natural light in, which is you know, keeping in true with the Spanish style home. Also, I hate closing off the staircases with these tiny builds because I feel like it's such wasted space. But here I just felt like the staircase because of the kitchen, I guess I could have laid it out a different way, but I just felt like this time around I would close off the staircase, which is typically not me. And you'll see upstairs that I did leave it open and utilized that space. It just There's just so much space under there. You could fit desks. I could have put more kitchen counters under there if I wanted to. But I don't know. I guess I just wasn't feeling it. And I liked that little decorative element of the column against the stairs and the wall. And I don't know. I, I do really like the way the downstairs came out. I do feel like there is space over by the table that could have been utilized but it is what it is I liked it so here we are going to the second floor and of course my windows were just really irritating me and I just could not get them right for the longest time in here I actually end up putting the bathroom and I had originally wanted this huge like open floor plan for the living room but I decided to save that for the bedroom. It, I don't know why it made more sense to me but it just made more sense to me. I, I guess I really like open bedrooms, big bedrooms because that's basically what I have. It's kind of your little sanctuary and here I want to create a tiny house for a sim while still keeping that whole sanctuary. And here is actually where you see I utilize that staircase space and the desk is fully functional there's no interaction with the stairs or they can't get to the desk or the computer so that's a really awesome plus there on this floor you'll also notice there's that cute little patio which i wasn't exactly sure what to do with at first because um, I like to plan out the backyard before i get to decorating the patios because some elements that I didn't include downstairs in the backyard, I will put up there. Um, I think here I do end up using a chess set because that just seems to be a item and a skill that the Sims really utilize a lot. So I always try to add one somewhere and here I happen to put it on that patio. But another thing you can see, I have a staircase here. And it eventually does come out. I was going to do this whole rooftop deck and it was going to be really, really cute, but I don't know. I felt it was a little bit overkill since I do have this big grand idea of a really big backyard. I guess I could have still put it in there, mm, but I like the way that the bath, the bedroom, I should say, the bedroom turns out at the end. It's, 
I find with these tiny spaces, people tend to just flush things against the wall. There's no really point where your eye can focus on something super pleasant. And taking out the staircase, I was able to eventually angle the bed so that it's just not your basic push against the wall. Everything is an orderly place. It just gives it a little more character, I feel. And I will eventually do another build sort of like this with the upstairs patio deck, which seems to be my favorite things, especially with these tiny builds, because you want to utilize everything in a tiny build. You want say what would make you happy if you actually lived here, not just your bare necessities, which most of the tiny homes I see, especially like the four by four, it's like use that top space. And I get the challenge though. I completely understand. It's, you know, challenge of how much you can fit into one little space to make your sim the happiest it's possible or just meet its basic needs. So here, I'm not trying to just meet the sim's basic needs. I just want a really, really cute tiny house. And here you can, this is where you can see I started to mess around with the layout a little more, angled that bed. And I don't know if you can hear that background noise. I apologize, there's a festival going down at the beach, so they're playing some music, which is what I will be enjoying after this voiceover, sitting on my patio and listening to whatever band is playing. And divert back to this tiny build. Um, again, the, deck, the decor. I, you can see that I go back and forth where I add all these items and like, oh wait, 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 no, 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 gotta, gotta keep this little style that I'm going for here because it isn't what I typically do. And hopefully I kind of, I kind of want to do more of these little Spanish style houses or just houses that I see when I'm driving down PCH. Uh, for those of you who live in Southern California, Laguna has some really, really beautiful homes. It's not your tracked home. Everything's a little bit different, a unique, and I really love that about Laguna Beach. So um, maybe it's Laguna is going to be my current inspiration for my next builds. We'll see. I kind of want to do a tiny home series. So I wouldn't call this a micro house, but it's definitely a smaller tiny house. So I just might go with that for a while. Here you can see I am actually starting to decorate the outside. I was trying to match the tiles to that stair tile, which this I find is the um, best match. It's not exact, but you know, it's pretty close. So I was happy enough with that. Here I'm trying to add a lot of lush flowers and keeping with the red and yellow theme that we see a lot. Like in the front, you'll see it's ivy, but here in Southern California, you see a lot of bougainvillea, which is what I'm trying to mimic with this red ivy. And it does a really good job. I really like the way that look turned out. Here you can see I am trying to decide how to fence in this pool backyard area, which I normally don't do fences. I do the raised patios like the foundation, but hey, trying for something different here. And I love the way it came out. It's pretty simple. It's big, but it's simple, basic, lots of flowers. It's very lush, very beautiful. And I left this little front patio space tiled. We, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, you could add a fountain. That would look pretty cute. I guess I should have done that. But anyway, this will conclude this build. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe below. We have a lot of cool, awesome things coming along, especially with The Sims. And I will talk to you next time.